Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use Hill cipher algorithm to encrypt the given plain text and how to decrypt the cipher text into plain text with the help of a simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a plain text safe messages. We need to convert this safe messages into a cipher text using Hill cipher algorithm. In this case, uh, ciphering is a key given to us. Now, once you get the cipher text, we need to decrypt it into uh, plain text using again the Hill cipher algorithm here. In the Hill cipher algorithm, the encryption is done using this formula C is equal to KP mod 26, where K is the key given to us, P is the plain text, and C is the cipher text here. And decryption is done using this formula that is P is equal to K inverse C mod 26. K inverse is the inverse of the key matrix. C is the cipher text, what we have obtained in the previous step, and P is the plain text in this case. Now we will discuss uh, how encryption and decryption is done one by one. Uh, before we go with encryption, first we need to uh, get the key matrix. So in this case, the key given to us is uh, ciphering. Uh, because uh, we have nine characters here, we will convert this uh, nine characters into three by three matrix here. So CIP will come in uh, first row, HER will come in the second row and so on. Now for each of these uh, letters, we need to assign some numeric value that can be done with the help of this table where A is assigned a number 0 and Z is assigned a number 25 here. So similarly, for C we will assign 2, for I we will assign 8, for P we will assign 15 and so on. Once you assign the values, you will get this matrix. That matrix is nothing but what? The key matrix in this case. Now we got the key matrix. Uh, now what we do is we will try to encrypt the given data into a cipher text here. In this case, the plain text given to us is the safe messages. It has to be divided into a vector of length 3 because the key matrix is of type 3 by 3 here. So that's the reason we need to divide this plain text into a vector of length 3 here. Uh, the meaning of this one is SAFL come into the first vector, uh, EME will come in the second vector and so on. And each of these letters should be converted into a numeric value again using this table. S is converted into 18 here, A is converted into 0 f is converted into 5 and so on. Now once you get these uh, uh, vectors of length 3, we will convert each of these uh, vectors into a cipher text using this formula. Uh, the first vector is SAF with values 18, 0 and 5 here. So what we do is a uh, cipher text is always equal to k multiplied b mod 26 here. k is nothing but the key matrix. Uh, p is nothing but 18, 0, 5 in the first case mod 26 here. Now we need to multiply these two matrices here. So the first row is multiplied to this column that is nothing but 2 into 18 plus 8 into 0 plus 15 into 5 that is what I have written here. Similarly, second row is multiplied to this column 7 into 18 plus 4 into 0 plus 17 into 5 that is what you can notice here. The third row is multiplied with the same column that is nothing but 8 into 18 plus 13 into 0 plus 6 into 5 and that is what I have written in the third row here. Again, we have to take the mod 26 here. So once you simplify these equations, you will get 111, 211 and 174 as the values. Once you perform uh, mod 26, you will get 7, 3 and 18 as the values here. Again, once you get 7, 3 and 18, we need to convert them into uh, uh, letters here. So 7 is nothing but H, 3 is nothing but C and 18 is nothing but S here. That is what you can notice. So the plain text SAF is converted into cipher text H, D and S here. Similarly, we will consider the second uh, vector and then we will perform the same operation you will get 8 14 and 4 as the values once you convert these things into uh, letters you will get ioe here so the second vector is uh, encrypted into ioe similarly we will perform the operation on the third vector that is uh, ssa that is nothing but 18 18 0 here once you perform uh, the multiplication and uh, the modulus operator you will get 24 16 and 14 here that is nothing but yqo here Similarly, the last uh, vector GES is converted into CAA here. Now, uh, once uh, entire message is converted into cipher text, it looks something like this. So, the plain text is the safe messages and cipher text is this one here. To decrypt this uh, cipher text into plain text, again we have to divide this uh, cipher text into uh, vectors of length 3 here. The meaning of this one is HDS will come into first vector, IOE will be in the second vector and so on. Again, this HDS should be converted into a numeric value. H is nothing but 7, D is nothing but 3 and so on. Now, once you convert them into numeric values, you will get these vectors here. Now, once you get the vectors of length 3, 
Next, what we need to do is uh, we need to multiply this vector to k inverse. That is nothing but key matrix is known to us, but we don't know k inverse. That is nothing but inverse of k here. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate the inverse of uh, the key matrix. The inverse of key matrix is always equal to inverse of determinant uh, and then the multiplied by adjoint of uh, k here. This is a multiplicative uh, uh, determinant here. Now, to get this uh, multiplicative de determinant, we need to calculate the determinant first here. So, the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix can be calculated using this formula. Let us assume that there are 9 elements are there in the matrix. To calculate the determinant, we will start with this first element that is A. We will remove this row and column here and then we will take the determinant of the remaining element. That is what you can see here. A multiplied by the determinant of remaining elements. Now, we will start with this particular B. This row and column will be removed. Determinant of DF, GI is the next one. Similarly, for the third element here. Now, once you perform this one, you will be getting the determinant. But one thing you can notice here, for the first element, we have taken plus, for the second one minus, for the third one plus and so on. We have to simplify it so that you can get the determinant here. Now, we will try to do it for the key matrix here. The key matrix contains uh, these values. Uh, in this case, uh, for the first one, that is 2, uh, 4 into 6 uh, minus 13 into 17. That is what the thing here, you can notice that value here. Similarly, for 8, we have to take minus, that is the first thing, 8 into 7 multiplied by 6 minus 8 multiplied by 7, that is what you can notice here. Similarly, for 15, once you simplify this equation, you will get 1, 2, 4, 3 as the determinant in this case. Once you get the determinant value, we need to calculate the multiplicative inverse of determinant because we are expecting D inverse here, we are not in expecting D here. So, D inverse can be calculated using this formula, that is D, D inverse is always equal to 1 mod 26 here. We know the value of D that is 1, 2, 4, 3. D inverse is not known to us. Now, how to calculate the D inverse? What we need to do here is we need to use the trial and error technique and then we should start putting the minimum value for D inverse here. Initially, we will put 1 and then we will see 1, 2, 4, 3 multiplied by 1 and if we take mod 26, we should get 1 here. If we are getting 1, that 1 is the answer uh, here. In this case, it is not possible. So, what we do is we will replace it with by 2 here. Similarly, we will replace it by 3 and so on. Once you replace this D inverse by 5, 1, 2, 4, 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 6, 2, 1, 5 and mod 26 is equal to 1 here. The meaning of this one is this D inverse is nothing but 5 over here. So, that is what I have written in this case. Now, what we do here is uh, we will try to calculate the inverse of this key matrix. That is inverse of key matrix is always equal to this one. I think I have already told you. Now, this D inverse is replaced by 5 here. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate this adjoint of K here. To calculate the adjoint of K, what we need to do is uh, we need to start with the first element. So, this first element is 2. We want to replace this 2, L, 2 with uh, the determinant of the remaining element. That is, we need to remove this row and this column. What is left here? 4, 17, 13, 6. So, we have to calculate the determinant of the remaining element. That is nothing but 4 multiplied by 6 minus 13 multiplied by 17 here. Uh, we have to replace this 2 by that value. Now, we will start with 8 here. Again, this row and column will be removed. The remaining elements determinant we will calculate that we will put here similarly for the third element. Now, we will start with this particular 7. For 7, this is a column, this is a row. Remaining element are 8, 6, uh, 8 into 6 minus 13 into 15 here. So, that is what you can notice here. Similarly, we have to do it for each and every element. Now, once uh, once you have done that particular determinant calculation, we have to put some uh, proper uh, sign here. So, we will start with plus for the first one, minus plus. This is how actually we write the operators in this case. For the second row, it will start with minus, minus, plus, minus. For the third row again, plus, minus, plus here and so on. Now, once you uh, get this particular thing, this is actually known as covariance matrix. It is not the adjoint here. What we need to do is we need to take the transpose of this matrix, then only we will get the uh, adjoint of K here. Now, once you simplify this uh, values, you will get this one. Again, once you simplify it, you will get these values here. Now, once you get this one, what we need to do? We need to take the transpose here. Uh, I have taken the transpose in this case. Now, I have to take this particular 5 inside here. Now, once I take this uh, 5 inside, you will get these values. Again, we have to take the modulus of 26 in this case. For positive values, you can take modulus easily. There will not be any question. That is 735, 380 and so on. For negative values, how to take the modulus? I have already discussed in the previous example. Follow that particular example so that you can understand how to take the modulus for a negative values. 
So once you calculate the modulus, you will get these values. That is nothing but the k inverse is equal to this one here. So previously this was the key. K inverse we have calculated. Now what we need to do is we need to decrypt each of these messages using this uh, equation here. That is plain text is always equal to k inverse ciphertext multiplied by 26 here. So uh, k inverse is this one multiplied by the first vector 7318. Uh, again we have to follow the same procedure what we have followed in encrypting. These two matrices we need to multiply. That is what the multiplication here. Once you get the multiplication, we need to take the mod 26 here. You are getting 1805. 18 is nothing but, uh, you can see here, that is yes. 0 is nothing but A. 5 is nothing but F here. So that is what I have written. Similarly, for the second vector, we are getting EME as the uh, decrypted data. For the next one, we are getting uh, SSA, that is for the third vector. This one, for the fourth vector, we are getting GES here. That is nothing but what? SAFE that is safe, ME double SA GES that is messages. So we got uh, the original plain text after uh, applying decryption on the uh, ciphertext here. So in this video, I have discussed uh, how can we use Hill cipher algorithm to encrypt the given uh, plain text and then uh, how to decrypt that uh, ciphertext into plain text using Hill cipher algorithm. I hope the concept of uh, Hill cipher algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.